Traffic morning on the South Shore. An armed robbery suspect stole a police cruiser and ended up in a standoff. The suspect is now in the hospital after being shot by police. We have live team coverage for you in Quincy, starting with WBZ's Beth Germano. Beth? Well, Paula, we are waiting for an update from police, but as you can imagine, this was an extremely tense situation with an armed suspect on the run. Mass State Police do confirm it was an officer-involved shooting that brought the standoff to an end and finally sent the suspect to the hospital. Now, police tell us it started with a convenience store robbery in Rockland and the suspect allegedly stealing a Rockland police cruiser and leading responding officers on a chase. That took them up Route 3 and into Quincy on the Bergen Parkway. They stopped him, but he managed to escape their dragnet, and they chased him again, the suspect still in the now heavily damaged cruiser. Two SWAT units were able to surround him again, and that's when negotiations began to get him come, to come out of the vehicle. And this was at a gas station where bystanders were urged to get out of the way with an armed suspect in their midst. Witnesses say they heard one pop and then saw the suspect on a stretcher being put into an ambulance. And again, Mass State Police confirming this was an officer-involved shooting. But for witnesses, this was tense, even a frightening situation with so many police in the area and not knowing what would happen next. The SWAT team just plowed right into him to hold him still, and that was it. And they told us to get out, like, get out of the area as fast as we could. So we just was hiding around the corner the whole time. Couldn't even come out, so. You ran for it. Yeah, so we, we had to. We had no other choice, you know. When I pulled up, I heard the police officers down here on, the, like, the SWAT vehicle and everything telling them, like, the orders, like, get out the car and stuff like that. And out of nowhere, everyone's like, yo, he's down. Well, not like he's down, but, like, we kind of knew he was down because they kind of, like, swarmed in after. And we also know that during this pursuit, an Abington police officer who was assisting was injured when his cruiser struck a utility pole and rolled over. But again, we are waiting for police to come to the microphones here, update us on how all of this unfolded. But again, they do confirm it was an officer-involved shooting that brought this to an end. Reporting live from Quincy, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.